All right. Boy, double battles. Let's see if we can go back for a second. Let's see, what was that dungeon game with the uh, Monster Collection, the 8-bit one from last year? That would be Cyrillum 2 that I played. However, there is Cyrillum 3, which I have a copy of. I just haven't gotten around to because I've been busy. Yeah, I don't really know the terminology. The whole Temtem up thing is kind of confusing. Uh, but yeah, Cyrillum... I think Cyrillum is probably the deepest... In terms of, like, mechanics, but I don't know enough about it to really, like, comment on it, because I, I didn't find the level design very satisfying. That's the kind of game that I'd absolutely love to have, like, a... Uh, I don't even know. If they did that in 3D, I think it would be lovely, but as it stood, I just... I tried playing it, I just couldn't. I've caught a Baharo! I'll just add to the squad. I don't think I'm going to use it, but still. How many can you have in a squad? Probably six. Standard. Uh, which might give us one hell of an advantage if we're if we do co-op. Because we might just have six each. I we'd probably only get three three that we could cycle between, but I don't know. See, what other ones? There's another pixel-based one that I don't remember the name of. I follow them on Twitter and I see it occasionally. But that one looks pretty good, too. I don't... I don't remember the name of it. I'll... I'll, I'll try and remember it for next time if we play this, aga this game again. Because it looked... It looked nice. It, it looked more kind of Game Boy Advance-style Pokemon. Like, that level of, like, detail. But honestly, like... Sapphire actually looked pretty good. Oh. Oh, shoot. Eh, let's do Shrill Voice. I should have hit the other Puharo if I was going to be using Shrill Voice here. But it's life. We'll just see what Shrill Voice does, damage-wise. Eh, it does a decent chunk of damage. Let's see, are those other players on the map? Yes. So you can see other players while you're just wandering around in the world. Oh, does fighting work against birds? I don't know what the uh, type weaknesses are going to be. If it's... Uh, if it's Pokemon style, if it's slightly different. No, it did full damage. So, so fighting or melee is fine against birds. I guess we kind of knew that. Psychic is still good against melee, but there might be... Well, but Psychic is bad against Crystal, which I don't think... I don't think... That's a standard thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, how's the Academia going? I'm having a great time! Brilliant. That's the most important thing. As long as you're happy, I'm happy for you. Just be careful with all this Temtem. -tem. And before you disappear again, let me take care of your Temtem. -tem. You're gonna need them in top condition for your next adventure. There, I healed them. Okay, so like I thought, you can in fact uh, go back home, talk to talk to dearest mother sister question mark, uh, and get healed. So is this a Pokemon knockoff, or similar in ways and different than others? So far, it's extremely similar. There's a couple of battle differences that might make a huge difference. Uh, specifically, there's a uh, specifically there's a stamina bar, which is kind of neat. But I don't know. It it really does look quite derivative. But that isn't always a bad thing. Hi, young one. Would you care for a little friendly Temtem -tem match? Don't bother the students, Orhan. They're probably on their way to the academia. You're gonna make them late for class. Instead of this a practical lesson, then, there will be times where you'll be fighting two tamers at the same time. Or fighting alongside a friend, like we always do. Let's see how you you fight oh. What? Okay. Let's see, do things evolve? Yes, they do. Uh, currently, I think there's only a handful of evolutions in the game right now. Because this is, like, the Super Alpha version. I'm fairly certain all of the starters evolve. I could even check my email. Uh, let's see. They're just basic neutral types, so I don't think there's anything else. I think this is a glitch. What's up? Oh, it's just like no pants. Oh, oh your weird. characters just had underwear on for a second. That's, That's worrying. Gross. Uh, 
Okay, so I wanted to double check. Yeah, what is in the game right now? Because it's not much. Okay, Temtem. What is in the game right now? Uh, no tutorials yet. Menu is tab or left trigger. No, that's not it. They straight up, like, had information on this. Oh! Only available Luma right now are Paharo Evolution Line, Umishi, Pig Epic, and Barnshi. Oh! So, Paharo, Umishi, and Pig Epic, and Barnshi. So, I we might not actually be able to evolve any of our, our starters. Oh, I see. Not yet, anyway. That's understandable. I'll have to... I'll have to check out. Yeah. Let someone in the game's chat say some of the starters don't evolve. So in that case, we should probably grab the, uh, the evolution-ready starters instead. I really wish that they had coordinated all the colors. Yeah, I, they're planning on having way, way more customization as you go along. Don't hold back. Come at us. Your your attempts are already done. Well done. You'll be a great tamer one day. Let's just keep wandering around. Uh, question. What do we eat? Squad. Okay, 2i? No. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, fertility. Five eggs. Ooh. Ooh, boy. Wait. Does Squoosh only know tenderness? Okay, at least Paharo does. So they, they said... Paharo... The Paharo line could evolve. Umishi. Pick Epic and Barnshi. Uh... Does anybody remember... Well, at the very least, we know Paharo can be, so let's... Let's... Let's bring in the Paharo and see how that goes. Okay, so that's a Tataru, which I've... Yeah, Tataru is not listed, so this thing does not evolve yet. So we'll, we'll go with the Paharo then. It might take a little while to grind up, though. The battles are just a little slow. I wonder if there's a way to turn... No, we don't have settings yet. I hope there's a way to turn off uh, turn off animations. But yeah, I have no idea what the fertility meter even means. I'm assuming breeding will come at a later date. Ah! What's up? That's just weird. I'm trying to decide between whether I want a red or a mint theme for things. The mint would work with the other... I mean, at some point we get the ability to pro properly customize our... our, like, class. Or not our class, our, our character. As much as we want whenever we want. I hope it's one of those where you keep getting new customization things. Mm hmm Because that'd be kind of nice. We'll look around for stuff. Aha! You gotta revive! The music is pretty good, and obviously the visuals are great so far. I uh, that's a Kaku! Okay, so there's actually a fair amount of Temtem in the game already. It's just they don't have the uh They don't have the evolution line yet. Well, that's fine. I'll just kinda catch everything I can, and then at some point we'll go to town. And then probably find whatever the Pokemon Center. Uh-oh. Toxic spores. Okay. Oh, so it has a little little, little dur duration down there. That's nice. Okay, let's have this one rest because I want to catch catch this thing. I'm not actually sure. Oh, it says Smazi wasn't affected, but. It Still does the animation. Alright. 
I wonder if there's going to be any healer Pokemon. Or Temtem, sorry. Oh, yeah. ones that actually support other ones? Yeah. Sorry, I've been sporadically here. I've been it's fine. customizing. I have a Kaku. Is it Keikaku? K-E-I? Keikaku. I think that's it. Yeah, Keikaku. Keikaku means plan. Huh, really? Yeah. I think it's from, uh, I think it's from the Death? Death Note anime? I could be wrong. Okay, sending Keikaku to the, to the squad. And Smazi is still poisoned. Ah, no. Okay, so... Right, we're looking for Umishi, Pig Epic, and Barnshi. Those are the ones I want to grab. It looks like you get a flat amount of EXP regardless of what level your Temtem are. I guess that's fair. Ah! Oh, it's double Kaku! I don't have enough plan for this. It's a problem. What does Stair do? I don't even I don't even remember what Stair does. Nor does it matter all that much. <laughs> Shell is still customizing her character. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sh shy shield. Oh, that's adorable. It's just I can't decide what color scheme I want. Because I should have wacky hair too. Hopefully we'll be on the same server. I mean, we're, like, within, oh, like, yeah. leg range. Leg range? Yeah. I mean, I can... Yep. Can definitely pat her ah. on the back of my leg. Not exactly the best angle for it, but that's fine. Oh, stop toxic sporing my dudes! Thing kicking range. That would be bean. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna kick shell. That's not okay. Not right at all. No. Poison hurts. Huh. Oh, you can kick your own you can kick your own temtem. That's worrying. I guess it, remi it reminds me a little bit of, like, in Final Fantasy VII, there- Oh, it's not dead yet! No! Wow! Oh, they raised their defense. That's why these guys are tough. I think these things only know Toxic Spore, so there's not too much I can do. Uh, but yeah, in Final Fantasy VII, there's a, a boss fight where they're, like, freezing your dudes in these, like, force prisms, and it's awful. And... It's... Uh, it sucks. Oh, yeah, I guess we don't have a choice. Uh, you're trapped in these force prisms and you have to, like, hit your own teammates to, to get them out of it. Which is kind of a cool system, but I didn't realize it knew until it was too late. Oh, oh! You can damage yourself in exertion. Oh! Okay, that's something to keep in mind. Owie. Well, at least my Pajaro is the higher level. Over. Okay, good. I can just bounce down. Be safe. And then we can go escape. There's no escape. Escape! Please don't. There we go. Tickle shell. She's not actually that ticklish, unless I unless I get access to her feet. How do you continue? Uh, press enter. Uh. Um, no. Uh, they said there was no tutorial. I actually have no idea what the controls are. I'm just using a controller. Because uh, I thought that on the backpack thing there'd be a. You, you're done. You're finished. Go. One second. Okay. 
So yeah, I, I guess like I was saying right before I hit the recording button again. Uh, Temtem, this is the first closed alpha, so this is available only to certain Kickstarter backers, you know, the people that grew boatloads of money at them as opposed to slightly less boatloads. Uh, the game I don't think will be available until sometime next year? Uh, if not, oh, that's adorable, that's the Swally. Was it, no, the Swally isn't something yet. These are really cute little critters. <laughs> ah, but yeah, so I don't think the game will be available. I think it's going to be going on Steam Early Access, but don't quote me on that one. Uh, but I don't think that it'll be available until spring 2019? Maybe further? I mean, we haven't had any crashes yet. The game performs pretty well. Uh, the battle system seems to be pretty far in pr place. It's very derivative of Pokemon, but I think that's just that's just going to be normal. Oh, right. I probably should have caught this thing. This is just killing it. Well, who knows? Maybe Pahara won't kill it. It's dead. Oh, well. We'll live. Oh, Hypnosis. Makes the target sleep for two turns. That's helpful. So yeah, if you guys are impatient for this to actually be in your own hands, you're just gonna have to be patient, unfortunately. Okay, so we can do two kicks a pack and then we gotta catch the thing. Okay. Uh, so what are the main differences from this, uh, between this and Pokemon? I... Kind of varies. It seems like breeding and like a lot of the competitive elements are maybe gonna be a little bit more available. It looks like, I don't know if this is... It's odd because I can't actually select anyone. Try spacebar. Spacebar again? Nope. Not spacebar. Uh, not enter. Not click. It looks like what? If this is meant for controllers? Maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll try ZXC. Z, X, C, E, R, T. If you do have access to the alpha, don't play it without a controller. It's gonna be rough. Oh, I brought something up, but it was with the O, and it must be critters. I captured a swally. I is the nature. Tonepedia. You is something else. I'm just gonna add it to the squad for now. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Uh, buh, 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 buh. many interruptions. Where are we even going? I thought we. I figured we'd be going, like, to the right, but it looks like this this is progress. <laughs> Let's pop down here and check out this bridge. Nope, guess I should have checked. I can see Turquesa from here. Ah, oh, if only I had a surfboard. Hey, it's a wanderer. It's me. Shh. Too much noise, stromping about like that. Look what you did. You scared off all the water, Tem Tem. Can I just say, like, the water is beautiful, and they even have cloud reflections up there. Oh, that's, that's really nice looking. Still dying over that long pause. If you have access to the alpha, don't play it without a controller. I know what I say. <laughs> uh, but no, it's it's apparently F to interact if uh, if you do happen to have the alpha and you ignore my words and actually decide to play this game. In fact, let me just say this now. If you have Temtem, don't play it at all. I want this all to myself. Get out of here, you schlubs. But that... <laughs> That'd just be like the worst thing ever. Uh, just like trying to be super territorial over a game to the point where you're like railing against it just so you can have it to yourself. That doesn't even make sense. It's amusing though. Anyway, to go back to the question of what are the main differences between this and Pokemon, uh, as far as I can tell, the SP meter is gonna be kind of different. Tail Strike, sweep the board, one fell swoop. Oh, cool. Uh, priority. Interesting, so some moves might be faster or slower than others. Um, but yeah, so the, the SP bar is going to be important. So you might want to prioritize having light, uh, cheap moves. You also, not every move starts. Or maybe the priority is just when you get access to it. So for example, we don't get access to Martial Strike or Tail Strike for a round or two. I'm not actually entirely sure how this works. 
Uh, so you're gonna have to pay attention uh, when picking moves. Because your Temtem might straight up just have a round where they can't do anything. Which is an interesting... Uh, it's an interesting mechanic. And I'm kind of curious to see how that pays out in higher level play. Uh, let's see, what platforms is this on? Currently PC, I don't know if it's going to be available on any of the other major platforms. I I want to say Switch was one of their stretch goals. You can actually even check the Kickstarter campaign, uh, like the main page, and I bet it'll tell you exactly then. Let's see, glancing at your name, are there 6,994 other Wanderbots? No, chances are I'm player 6,995, and that Wanderbot is just my name. Could be a randomly generated number though, but I'm betting, I'm betting just we have about 7,000 people in this, in this alpha test, which is pretty impressive, but this game got like bucket loads of money on, on Kickstarter, which like, good for them? I really liked the Mortal Redneck. It was it was a really good roguelike that everybody just kind of passed over, including me. I'd actually just uh, ignored the game because I was just like, "What is this stupid title?" And then I played it, and it was like, "Oh no, this is actually like kind of amazing." Okay, so the Kickstarter page says all the consoles as a stretch goal. Awesome. Uh, let's see. I guess if it's not immediately obvious. Oh. So Tail Strike is not... I guess we'll just test it on that one. Let's see how much damage Tail Strike does. Oh. I guess it might not be immediately... I figured Tail Strike would be a hit everybody option. It doesn't look like they have special animations for everything either. So there's no special animation between Tail Strike and... And his, his regular, like, punch move. Or was it Kick? I think it might be Kick. I hope they come up with specialized animations for each one of the moves just to make it look better, but I'm not betting on it. Martial Strike? Peck. The music is pretty good. I'm wondering if it might get a little bit, uh... Ooh. Oh, right, right. Uh, you do extra damage if you're using a move from your own type set. So that, that's still a thing. And it looks like they have standard uh, standard elemental weaknesses and stuff. Because we took twice as much damage from the digital one. Which, like, ouch? I wonder if the digital the digital Temtem are like the equivalent of dragon type. Probably. Hmm. Oh, where they have a very yeah. few resistance. Oh, no, very... You should get your mic like properly in front of your face. Ah, sorry. We haven't done this position in a long time. Actually, I'll just take this out of the way. Yeah. That's better. All right, uh, I won my first battle. Hey, I in fact see you. You do? Yeah. I'm just gonna creep above you. This whole time. Okay, let me come up to you. Hi. Ah, what? Double battle? Is uh -huh. it, did this? You have been double battled. What? I don't actually know if we can actually do team stuff. We can interact. Oh, maybe we can. Somebody named themselves Pokemon. Of course they did. Yeah, I. They're talking about how they can fight alongside one another. Yeah. So why don't you why don't you go through that battle? I'll just keep grinding for a little bit and I'll see if I can interact and like add you to the party. Cause that'd be kinda neat. Okay. I like the card do you know system. What, do you know what normal is? Is it just Neutral. Neutral uh, against everyone? Yeah. Because uh, I haven't heard any, like, super effective or I, that's I've, less effective. Uh, when you got beat by your rival, it's definitely less effective. I've also tried using a, a uh, wind move mm -hmm. against a Temtem that was, like, wind-based or flying-based or whatever. Yeah. And it, it took half damage. So there are type weaknesses. We absolutely know that one. Uh, I could do Marshall Strike. Okay, yep, healing up nope. my nope. two Y. Oh no! And I went with Crystal. Oh no! Wait, what? Are you okay? Uh, I just told my Smazi to melee my own Paharo. 
They can they can attack yeah, their you own. Yeah, you can hit your own. You can hit your own Temtem. Because I know that you you can do that with beneficial moves, like ones that can buffer, debuff. But I just smackerooed my own bird. Ouch. Well, I bungled. Oh, Ooh, that was pretty. You effective. can even see on the on this. On the move list, when when you get the moves, ah, because it'll have the one slash and then the second slash for when it's charged, and it'll even have like uh, them fill in as you go along. That is great, actually. Let's do a tail strike against that guy and just test. We'll just stare at this guy. Might not wake him up. Let's I only had to beat one Temtem in the partnered group to win. No, you just get ex. For it? it the screen turned black. Oh. I well, so I was in the double battle and I beat one of the two to tear that one of the two trainers sent out and then it gave me experience. Yeah, and then and it then broke. it broke. Broke. Whoops. I can hear things. But yeah. Uh just start mashing the F button. Maybe it's still going and you can just beat him. Oh no, I, I was kicked out. But I'm in battle, look. Look at this. Oh. I have Mirror Shell here, but I'm out in the world. And there's a Tateru thing there. Uh-oh. I'll try to conduct the rest of the battle while being out in the real world. Why don't you describe to them what you see on my screen? Uh, okay, that's weird looking. So maybe I'll just kill it if I can select it. Just, just mash F. Just keep mashing F. Are you just pressing F? How do I select a you creature have, that is not You should there. have it automatically selected as your only as your only enemy. So just if you keep pressing the F button, Shell, are, are you pressing the F button? I'm pressing F constantly. It's not taking. Uh-oh. Well, you can always just see what happens. What's the re revolution symbol? Uh, that's switch party members. I mean, you could always just lose. I can also use mirror shell on myself. I don't even know. I think that's a defensive move. It is, but you can try it. See if you can progress around. It, maybe it'll it, maybe it'll fix itself. It broke. It broke harder. Well, well, I I went with the mirror shell because it's the only move I could do. Oh yeah, you're not even in the game. And anymore. And I'm not even in the game anymore. I hear the music. It's sort yeah, of in battle. Why don't you just alt F4, start over? So fair warning to anybody watching this this footage, this series. This game is in. Well, this isn't even on Steam yet. This is. Super early access. Early, earlier than early access, obviously. Uh, so there's going to be some bugs. I'm lucky to have apparently avoided them. However, they will exist and they will be a problem. Uh, oh, they did release a type chart for this game. Sweet. So normal does half damage to mental. Oh, it brought me right back into the battle. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, this game is an MMO, if that's not obvious. Uh, so, oh, we get a surfboard. Ah, finally, some peace and quiet. Nothing beats the dar. The quality of life, mark my words. If you had to work in the capital, you'd see this little town with different eyes. I guess youngsters prefer air solo, right? All that big city excitement, the crowds, the hustle and bustle. But remember this, one day you'll learn to appreciate the simple pleasure of a sunny day. A good book and a peaceful spot like this same one. I've never been outside! It figures, you're too young to travel on your own. One day you'll go abroad, and then, who knows? Maybe you'll miss all this then when you can't see the pan sun in ages because it rains all the time in Arbury or because you live in un under you live underground in Tukma to enjoy your childhood while it lasts Kaden these days will never come back where are you uh where are you you're out there I'm I'll still come here back. did you finish the battle yes but now there's a greedy tamer okay just hang out oh one second I have to go into a battle I gotta beat the tar out of the thing okay Ah, two pigs. Wait, pigs? No, 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 not in. This is a oh, fighting tamer. Other train. Tamer has two pigs. You might have actually gone farther than me. I don't no, think no. I've faced that tamer. Well, he was just around the corner from the two tamers that I fought huh. in the double battle. Yeah. All right. I don't know. Let's figure it out. I do like the music. It reminds me of. 
Disgaea's music. Or oh, yeah. maybe not Disgaea, uh, Phantom Brave, which also Nipponichi, but it def definitely is like reminiscent. Uh, let's see, so Shell, you probably missed this while you were getting things set up, but the, oh, what is it? The only available evolutions are Paharo, Umishi, Pigepic, and Barnshi. So the, the, the basic like star bird okay. that you can catch, that one can evolve. Oh. And then the pig, and then we haven't seen Umishi or Barnshi yet. So those are probably the ones worth, uh, worth checking out for now. So maybe I'll take half, and you take the other half? Or maybe I'll try and get them all. I mean, it really depends on how much content there is for this game. Hmm? It's like, it feels like they've actually put in quite a lot. Okay, so you are... I'm Shell. Yeah, with an S. where are you? I'm just around the corner. I'm, I'm there. I'm fighting. Oh, how'd you get down there? See? Just jump. Oh! Th those are jump spots. I was not aware that you could just... Oh yeah, I see the fall down bit. Hey you, this is supposed to be my spot. You've come to pick all that sweet stuff lying around. Well, me too. So tell you what, let's fight. I'm glad I didn't w go with the, that hairdo. It looks weird. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look terrible. I don't, that hairdo isn't even available. Is it? Oh, it looked like the uh, the weird like faux hawk. Yeah, I think that's the weird faux, eh, maybe not. I don't know, whatever. Peg, peg. Man, so we're actually going to be doubling up on, uh, we're going to be doubling up on Monster Collection games, at least until we run out of con content for this one, because yeah, okay. we had Let's Go Eevee at the same time. I'm glad that they're going with, like, co-op for this. I, I don't think we've mentioned that too much, but we should have the ability to play together as just a constant double battle for this game. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. But unlike Let's Go Eevee... I actually get to be an individual as opposed to a weird imaginary friend that demands that you <laughs> use some optimal movement types. Yep. I ended up going with the, the crystal tortoise because I was trying as many color schemes as possible and they don't have purple as an option. So I had to go with sort of a periwinkle blue mint combo. And That's understandable. Mint, and the mint went well with the little crystal turtle. Should I try catching things in here? Uh, if you want to. I've I've caught pretty much everything I've run into. Uh, every unique one. You only have six capture cards here. Yeah. I would say... Well, uh, I, I'm facing Paharos right now. Yeah. Ooh, Windblade. Uh, y we should probably... Uh, winner takes all. We should probably wait until you're... Or, as soon as you get out of battle, let's see if we can team up or something. Okay. Yeah, sorry I got into battle. I just I figured it, that it's understandable. You would take a while, but then you took, you just. Well, my mine are starting to get up there in levels. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're a tough one. Okay, go ahead, get whatever you find. You've earned it. I got a vital apple, and then I'm gonna wait for you. Oh no! Well, time to go back. I don't even know where you went. No, I, I'm in the grass below. Yeah. Just right below. I just don't see you. I don't want to venture into the grass. So mm -hmm. I'll just wait. And, Shell, yeah? you should stop turning your head to to talk oh, to me. sorry, sorry. Yeah, because it's like, whoa. 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 Yeah. Okay. 